Hi, welcome back. I'm Clarice, and this is Josie. Hi, and so we are Learn It or Return It. Yeah, so today we're going to tell you about one of our favorites, Keys to the Castle. So this is for two to four players. It's approximately 20 minutes. Uh, it can be a little longer sometimes, and they have be 10 to 20 minutes a little bit more more or less you'll see and it's for ages eight plus but like Josie is about five a little bit over five so she's been playing it for about a year or so so anyway we'll show you the contents shall we so oh just punched it there yep so we have little characters and we have the instruction book as well show our little people or little almost look like little little gnomes or I'm not sure little characters here you have to probably zoom in to see them and some picking their noses yeah let me see that little one on a horse so they have a nice variety of characters uh, do you want me to grab the rest out Okay, so, oh. <laughs> so we have, uh, so in a two player game we're going to choose, we'll choose whichever one we want to be, so just one character. I will choose this little one. So take the rest and you're going to put them back in the box. So the box is actually really nice because you can store the little characters in here, you can put them on their sides, uh, just like that. And then just tuck this over here. Um, so typically we would play on like across from each other because it's going to be you know two players. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to work with what we have. So Josie is going to start from this side. I'm going to start from this side. So these let's show what they are. So doors. we have yeah. So we have little little castle doors. They have locks. So they're they're a few different colors here, and she's showing. So there's green. There's red blue and yellow so i'll just show you an example and on the back of one of them i'll just show you what we have here um so what's on the back of that one okay so we have an open door uh this one's an extra key so we have that some of them will have you know the little bars so you won't be able to pass through and most of them are just like open doors so anyway let's um we're going to show you how the game is set up. What I'm probably going to have to do is just tuck this a little further that way. Just a little bit over there. And just don't want stuff to fall off the table here. So so again, with, um, with the two-player game, we're going to go by... It's a, <laughs> a setup of 8 by 5 So you're going to put 8 of the tiles, the little door ones, across. So 8 and 5 this way, or whatever way you can fit them. Typically it would be this way because you're going to want to try, your goal is to try to get to the other side before the other person. So I'm going to try to get to, to Josie's side and she's going to try to get to my side. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's, let's show how the game works here, buddy. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 7, 38, 39, 40. So you're pretty much just using all the cards uh, for the tiles. Do you want me to put some on this end? I like to change it up. I don't mind having the doors different ways. So we just have to make sure that we have enough space on the table. So we're going to move this. Let's just tuck this over here for a minute, your card holder. We're gonna put, we want five, five along here, okay? It just doesn't really matter which way you have them. And what I like to do is make a variety of different colors. So you don't want to have like all blues in a row because the doors will change which way you can go when you see the cards we have too. So once this is set up, we'll go over just a few of the different cards that we have. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest of the card, or the tiles, down here. What I'm actually going to do, I think we'll have to take this down. Just tuck it over. Just put it over there. There you go. 
so you can see a full full table of whoops full table of tiles so the um, just as an example of what we have in in the deck uh so we have keys so they're different colored keys that will open the different colored doors so very specific yellow we have a red key we have blue green and and so yellow blue green and red it can unlock any door yep we have padlocks so if someone has opened a door then we are going to lock the door okay we have another key we have skeleton keys these ones are really neat do you want to show that one and tell what that one does. <laughs> so we get really close and she'll show you up is close. Yep, yeah, that one's like a wild. Um, this one is a wild key. Yep, so it can unlock any door yeah. or uh, so it can unlock or lock any yeah. door to prevent like the other person from coming across to your side. And then they'll have to find a different route. Yeah. The other one, yeah. So that one's really, yeah, so it says open or close any door or remove a padlock. Oh, that's very close. Okay, bring it back. <laughs> the other one is, um, so if you ever come across uh, um, uh, the padlock or uh, the bars, my apologies. So this one, the hacksaw will permanently cut it open. So, yeah, very nice. So I just have a kitty here, just in case the cat comes on the table. Um, so that's pretty much the difference. Oh, uh, we also have two more cards that I just wanted to show. So this one is really neat. It's a net. So this one can stop your opponent from moving for two rounds. So if, let's say, you have this, you'd place it. You know, Josie could put it under mine. And it would actually, she would put it on the card where she wants to hold me in place for two rounds. So she just put it right there or wherever she wants to stop me from going. The other one that I wanted to show is this one is Secret Passage. So this one actually connects diagonal doors. So if let's say we've opened one of these doors over here, the green one, and it's already been open, um, I could put a, a passage, you place it here and you could try to open this one, you know, the one on a diagonal, and that would just stay there. So it's a permanent card. I think that's pretty much it. Those are the differences. Um, you can close doors, you can open doors, and you can lock doors. So that will prevent the other player from getting very far. Yeah. So the way we're going to start, so we've already set up the table. We have a 5x8 uh, tile placement. So this is our castle with all these locked doors, which is so it's such a neat idea, isn't it? We're going to have our deck of cards. We are going to start with three cards each. Do you want to get your card holder there? So we go one, one, two, two, three, three. We're going to put the deck, we'll just put it between us. So on your turn, what are we going to do? We pick um, up a card. Pick up a card. Play a card. Play a card. And move your character. <laughs> so just remember to pick up the beginning of your turn. So. Um, so you should always have around four cards. If you have more, you discard down. So do you want to start? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just show you with a little round how we move along. So what do you have? Show, show. So she, she has a red key. So what does that mean? I'll unlock a door. Okay, so we'll put it in a discard pile here. It says open or close a red door. Your red door is right in front of you. So you're always going to want to look at what's in your path. Okay, so flip it. So she has a little path, or a little door she can already go through. So she'll move her little character right there. Okay, and so do you want to pick up? Um, yeah, so you're going to want to pick up. How did that work? So you picked up, but where did your other card go? No, because you had to pick up at the beginning of your turn. So you should always have around three cards. Um, the one, the one thing for one of the doors as well is, um, there might be more than one. There's one that says an, an extra turn and so, anyway, it's just really neat. Some of them will say like you get an extra key to open any door. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting and it's, but also it's, um, a little bit of a memory game too, but not so much that it bores you. So, so anyway, so I'm going to pick up on my turn. And just one second. 
Sorry about that. So I have a padlock. So I'm actually going to lock, I'm not going to lock the, no, you know, I'll leave her on there. She hasn't really gone very far yet. Yes. Yeah. So what I'm actually going to use, I'm going to use the yellow key. So I'm going to open this one. Oh, this is the one I was talking about. So this one, it's open the door, but I also get an extra key. So with that, I'm going to open. I will open Josie. Yeah, mommy is just trying to move though. Yeah, mommy's mommy's going to move over to the yellow door that's over here, so you can open whichever one. Um, so I'm gonna jo Josie. Yeah, Josie, mommy's trying to open a door here, so mommy is going to move over to the next door because it's been open. Your turn. So you're gonna pick up, pick up, and what card do you want to play? Show what you have. So the secret passage. So you're not actually going to place it here. You'll choose which passageway do you want. Oh, no, it would be a diagonal. No, stop it. <laughs> so it would be a diagonal. That would be a permanent passage. If let's say someone had blocked or she had um, the bars on the door directly in front of her, she could use this to go diagonal to the whichever side she wanted. Are you sure you want to use this yet? Do you want to use it? Okay, so we're going to put the passageway there, but you need to have a yellow key in order to open that. So you would stay put. So you stay put until your next turn if you happen to have a yellow one. Okay? And the stand there, yeah. right? So mommy's turn. Looking outside. Okay. So with my turn, I'm going to... Sometimes... There won't actually be anything to, to use, but what I could do, I'm going to padlock the first door that I was on, the extra key. So I'm going to close that and put that in the discard pile. All right, Josie, your turn. And we'll just show just a couple more moves just so you have an idea what to do here. So again, it's just the race to the, the opposite side. Whoever gets to the opposite side first wins. So did you pick up? Pick up. Pick up. Um, so you wouldn't do that one because you're not going to be jumping all the way over here. You would hold on to that. Mm. Yeah. So do you have a yellow key or a blue key or a yellow key? So you can move sideways. I have a keypad. A keypad? What kind of keypad are we talking about? Oh, a padlock? Yeah. So you don't have anything to padlock yet. Do you have anything else? Normally I wouldn't look at your cards, but let's see. Um... So you don't really have anything to play here, so you would just you would just be done. So yeah. So this is my turn then. So I'm gonna pick up. I have a skeleton key. Ooh. So with the skeleton key, I will open the red door here, and I got another extra key. Woo! So I'm gonna move over there, and I'm gonna open the blue door, and I have another open door. So there I go. Okay, so with you, so I think that's that's pretty much it. Do you have anything? <laughs> yeah, so come on back. And do you want to just try one more turn here? Okay, so you're going to pick up. So I actually think it's... Do you want to open the door? You can open that one finally. Yay! So you're going to open this door if you want to. So it's an open door! So she can finally move to the diagonal here. So move over there. Okay, so anyway, that's that's pretty much how we play this. And um, what do you say? Um, no, that was your turn. No! <laughs> anyway, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe. You want to say bye? <laughs> bye. Bye, thank you.